What's up guys, this video is just about iTunes 12.4, so without further ado, let's start the video. Okay, so the first thing you have to do is go to your dock, click on iTunes, and there you go. That's what you're presented with. So if I go to the sidebar, I can switch to albums, songs, genres, composers, recently added, and the artists. I am not impressed with this. I really am not. So if I go to this navigation bar, for you, new radio the ability to connect with the artists and then the iTunes store okay so let's leave this let's go back to my music for one minute if I go to hide sidebar the sidebar is no longer available it's gone but you have the ability to bring it back with show sidebar you can also say hide status bar you can bring that back if you want to so show stated bar you have the ability to still create the playlists if you want to so I got an iPod playlist top 25 most played go back to music videos you know compilations composers genre songs albums iTunes 12.4 is a complete letdown because we went from having the ability to navigate from the right hand side now we're just going back to the left hand side and the sidebar it's not that good it's not that impressive as it should be I mean you can't even increase the the thumbnail size of the albums what's up next View as a list, you have the ability to do that. You can also sort it by title, genre, ratings, or whatever. So if I go back to grid, if I go back to songs, go right to the top, you can right click and put in whatever you want. I mean, it's roughly the same, but iTunes 12 is actually a, a big letdown because they are removing so many things that we love. Like cover flow is no longer there, you don't have the ability to increase the thumbnails and now we went from being able to click on the right hand side to going to the left. This is this is not good. Hopefully they rectify this accordingly and sort everything out because iTunes is no longer the same as it was four or five years ago. I mean those are the best days of music in terms of the graphical user interface and how we used to react with it. It looks like a cleaner interface, but trust me, it's completely different as what we were used to back in the day. So alright, that's it for this video. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for now.